the way up to uh, Salisbury to take some images of the cathedral. Now I, I, I went up there the other day and got some nice shots of the cathedral which I actually did a video on if you want to take a look at it. But um, there was another composition up there uh, of where Constable actually did one of his paintings. So um, I thought I might pop up there and have a look at it and uh, see if it makes some good images. I think I'm going to give this composition up here a go. This was where Constable did one of his paintings, apparently, um, from this position. So it's good enough for Constable, it's good enough for me. So I think we'll just come and set up here, see what we can get. As you can see, I'm moving the camera in an up and down vertical direction. Um, you have to look at the composition you're taking and decide what camera movement you think is going to suit it best. Um, obviously, the cathedral is a very tall building, so I thought this sort of movement would give me the image that I'm after. Um, as far as the speed that you move it in, it's really just trial and error, as is the amount that you move the camera up and down. Um, I'm not worried about what the uh, aperture setting is. I use that purely to give me the shutter speed that I need um, to give me the camera movement time. So obviously, if it's too fast, you'll close the shutter down and vice versa. If it's too slow, you'll open it up. But I'll take uh, probably three or four hundred images on the day um, of any composition I'm doing in the hope that I'll get one or two that work. Um, but you just have to uh, keep trying um, different things with ICM in the hope that it's, it's going to give you your final image that you like. Well, I think I'm pretty much done. Um, taken over 400 images of that composition of constables. Uh, so I hope I got something. The trouble is they always look good in the back of the camera screen, but you get them home, it's a different story. But hopefully I've got one, one or two. We'll just have to wait and see. The road is Constable Way. So uh, I would imagine that that is true what they say, that he did do one of his paintings from there. But I must look into that and find out which painting it was.
So I'm back at the computer now and I've just been going all through the images I took of Salisbury Cathedral. Um, there was just over 400 I took and I've got to say that the results I thought were pretty disappointing. There was nothing there that really sort of jumped out at me. Um, which unfortunately is uh, the nature of the beast with ICM. It happens more often than not and it's something I'm afraid you just got to live with. Uh, but I was coming nearly to the end of them. I think I had about 20 to go and all of a sudden, bam, this one jumps out. And I thought that is the one I'm going to keep and process. So I'll show you what I did to it in processing and also the final result at the end. So first of all, let's just run through the camera settings um, for this final image. Um, it was taken on my Nikon D700 with a 70 to 210 f4 lens. I use this lens because the cathedral was a fair way away and I wanted to draw it in. And I ended up actually taking it on a focal length of 135 millimeters. Um, the aperture ended up being f13, uh, which gave me a shutter speed of one second. Um, and I actually had this on uh, exposure compensation of plus one. Um, I, I did that because with ICM it's very difficult to get the exposure uh, spot on because you can appreciate you're moving the camera around so it's picking up different light areas so you just have to sort of um, uh, juggle around with the settings. Um, the ISO was uh, 200 and um, I actually had the white balance on cloudy but I wasn't too bothered about that because we're, we're going to tweak the colours anyway. So that was it as far as the uh, camera settings go. So this is the image. Now what did I like about this? I absolutely love the fact that I picked up the stream in the bottom of the image. Um, I love the sort of effect I'd got with the water here. Um, I liked the colours, um, sort of almost pastel-y colours. And I don't know, the image just sort of seemed to do it for me. So it was a good starting point. Th this isn't going to be a tutorial on uh, how to edit an image. I'm sure you're as capable of that as I am. Um, it's just basically to show you what I did to it to end up with my final image. I always use Nikon's Capture NX2 software, um, which I absolutely love. Um, but all these settings would be in Lightroom and Photoshop, as I'm sure you know. So the first thing I always do is I do a double threshold on an image to see what it does to it. Um, sometimes you do it and you look at it and you think, oh my God, who on earth invented that? That's absolutely awful. And other times you do it and it's, whoa, that's absolutely brilliant. So it's worth always giving it a go. And in this case, it actually gave me that, um, which I liked because it gave me a very pale, I, I thought it was very Turnerish, you know, it sort of um, gave it a very painterly effect. So I like that. The second thing I did was um, put in some levels and curves which brought the uh, water out a little bit more and gave it this beautiful uh, pale blue, which I thought was nice. Um, I put in some color control points to bring out the actual main part of the building, uh, the cathedral, because um, without those, it was a bit sort of, you couldn't really see it and it was a, a bit pale. But once I put the control points in, it just made that bottom section pop. Um, all these auto retouch brushes are basically there just to get rid of unwanted distractions in the image. Um, so I won't bother going through all those. I then put in another levels and curves which um, made the water pop even more. Um, turn it off, see, with it on, it just brings it more to life. Um, 
Now I put in some color control points to basically bring this part of the uh, cathedral tower um, more prominent in the image because it, it looked a bit pale and sort of insignificant here. It just seemed to sort of cut off from the bottom to the top. But with the color control points in there, it, it just sort of brought the two together more. Um, and that was basically it. I did some noise reduction on it, um, but only about 5%. It really didn't need much. So yeah, that, that basically is, is the final image, um, which I've got to say, I'm not only very pleased with, but I think it is one of the uh, my favourites of this year up to date. But having said that, you know, which is your favourite image? It's always the next one. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's inspired you to get out there and try a little bit of ICM photography. It's a lot of fun. Um, so if you have, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to see future videos. So it's John Dexter saying bye for now.